Google Now has been updated and improved, and ever since last year, it has become an integral part of many of our lives. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you make the most of Google Now. Google announced its digital assistant service, Google Now, at its I.O. conference last summer, and it has been upgrading and improving the capabilities and reliability of the service ever since. Many of us here at Pocket Now have come to use and rely on Google Now each and every day, but you may be wondering what the hype is all about. What makes Google Now so great, and how can you make the most of Google's automated assistant service? Naturally, Google Now resides beneath the home button and is easily accessible from anywhere within the system. It's only one quick swipe away. That is, if you use a Nexus. If you use another device, like the HTC One or Galaxy S4, Now may be accessed by holding the home or menu button. And if you use an iOS device, simply download the Google Search app from the App Store and log in. Once you get inside, you are met with a search bar at the top, followed by a scrolling list of information cards that are updated and changed based on your preferences and needs. To choose what shows in cards and periodically in the notification shade, scroll to the bottom, press the action overflow button, and select settings. You can toggle individual cards or notifications, and in the My Stuff submenu, you can set important places like your home or workplace, your favorite sports teams, or the companies whose stocks you want to follow. The voice submenu in settings is an area few seem to explore. In here, you can enable hot word detection, which, like now available from Google.com and Chrome, enables you to say Google from within Now to begin a voice search. You can also determine how Google Now will react when you have a Bluetooth device connected. It will record audio either through the headset or through the phone's built-in microphone. Lastly, the phone search submenu is where you can include or exclude specific apps from Google search results. But enough about settings. How can you improve your Google Now experience? How can it become more useful for you? First, make sure you're using the correct Google account for Google Now. Synchronize the Google account you use in Chrome, either on your computer or smartphone, with the Google account you use with Now to see related news stories in Now, or for more information on products you may have researched. I did a lot of research before buying my new car, so Now is recommending reviews and other information on the Scion FRS without me having to lift a finger. I also Google searched Instagram a few times earlier this week. Now Instagram-related articles are intermittently appearing in Google Now. This will happen for items or terms that you frequently search for, and Google will learn various things about you, such as the sports teams you like, and automatically provide game information and live score updates in the form of cards and notifications, if you use the same account for everything. Disabling future cards about these items or topics is as simple as pressing the information button on the card and selecting no. Another helpful tip is to make sure your online shopping accounts are sending emails to the correct Gmail account. I purchase a lot of items from Amazon, and as soon as the shipping confirmation email hits my inbox, a card with the tracking information will appear in Now, where I can view a map of the package's history and see the most recent update and estimated delivery date. Google Now isn't solely for consuming information and performing searches, though. It also works for creation. Open Google Now and say Google, followed by Create a Calendar Entry, or Set a Reminder. You can also set timers and alarms using the same method, or you can place a call, send a text message, or even email straight from Google Now. When you create a calendar entry for an appointment, be sure to enter an address, and Google will tell you when you need to leave to make your appointment on time based on travel time and traffic. And if you get bored, there are several Easter eggs that should keep you occupied. Not every feature works in all parts of the world, and even we haven't been able to get some cards to work, such as the card that displays how far you've walked at the end of each month. But the best thing you can do to improve your Google Now experience is to open it up every so often and discover what it's doing for you automatically. It will suggest TV shows, movies, and even new albums based on your search queries. It will provide local events based on your geographical location, which definitely comes in handy on those weekends out of town. That's going to do it for this video, so if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, be sure to click the like button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. Until next time, I'm Taylor Martin, and have a great weekend.